Hey everybody, welcome back to Fallen Channel. We're going to pick up right where we were with Avery Attorney, featuring uh, Fallen and Micro, hi everybody. Fallen and Friends. I'm so depressed right now. She's I cannot so upset. Believe, I cannot believe we helped that vicious feline, that ferocious feline, to get off scot-free. She played us. She really yeah, played she us. she totally did. And Fawen here was like, we have to record more. We have to record more. I want to see what happens. And he's right. I want to see what happens too. And we hope you do as well. So let's continue on and see what happens. All right. Well, let's start to Trump. Oh, it's a day after my birthday. In 1848. The Palais de Libre. What happened? Oh. Oh, very prominent uh, military man. Which is reasonable, senors. I am sure that this is a so misunderstanding. Ox. Oh gosh, no. There is no misunderstanding. Name of the king, arrest that Spaniard. Mm -hmm. Oh. Is that a human? No, no they all have oh, like, human hands? hands and stuff, yeah. A fox amongst wolves. I knew Falcon wouldn't feel like turning up to the office on Friday. Uh, I was hoping we would go and try to defend the lion now. Maybe that'll be the next act. Oh, uh, well. Oh, try to click on the evidence box. Maybe we saw the evidence. But now it's midday and Monday, and there's still no sign of him. This is becoming a little concerning. Nothing. Nope, nope new uh, case. New, brand new case. How much money do we have from that case, by the way? What? They, they paid us crap. They paid us, like... $30. No, no. 30 no. francs. We had, 20, we had 19 before. Oh, yeah, that's right. We should have given the kids more. more. Yeah, oh, well. It's becoming a little concerning. They might have given us some in interesting uh, information, too. Oh, well. That's what I was telling you! Oh, well. We've been learn. This is your decision. Hmm. I think we should go look for him. Or we should wait a little round. We'll, look. well if, we wait, if we wait a little round, we'll probably get the next case. No, no. It's saying, do you want to go look no, for No, no. I understand. Okay. What I'm saying is, if we say I should wait around a little... If he's waiting in the office, maybe the next case comes in while he's waiting. Versus, if we go out and look for him, the person who, for the next case comes, but uh, we get delayed then. I see what you mean. Okay, which one do you want to do? I think we should go look for him. I should probably go find him. His home will be a good place to start. But the bird brain never gave me his address. I also had to find him the hard way. Pick a direction and walk. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, this is a couple of days later. A few days yes. later. Um... We were at the AA offices. Is he at La Conciergerie? Maybe he's at La Conciergerie talking to the lion. He's not going to be there. Mm. That's the lion's place. Yeah. I but... say let's go to the uh, La Conciergerie. Okay. Excuse me, monsieur. I'm looking for my friend. Do I look like a lost and found to you? Buzz off, bird brain. All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe go back to the palace to... The house. Yeah. No sight of Falcon here. Excuse me, Rupert. Rupert Rabington. Love it. Oh, it's you, the uh, first year dropout. Hey, I didn't drop out. I was forcibly ejected. But that doesn't matter right now. I'm looking for Falcon. Have you seen him? Falcon, the guy who... uh. Blundered his way through the Catterline trial with the help of some uh, very dubious evidence. What? No, I haven't seen him since the um trial. Oh, well, thanks anyway. He's gonna be at the uh, the yes that. Place. Maybe he's looking into For more evidence. Yeah, to uh, exonerate the lion. Excuse me, Mademoiselle Duho. Uh, down here. Oh, there you are, Sparrowson. Oh, right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh, there you are, Sparrowson. Right. That's right. I heard about the case you were involved in. I never would have thought that Baron was a murderer. He always treated me with the utmost respect. But then I suppose it makes sense that the most ruthless killers are the ones who can put up the best facade. Yeah, I suppose so. Say, how's your friend doing? He seemed a little down last night. Last night? Oh, you've seen him. Yes, he was brooding in the corner of Le Canard... Uh, Jimmy. Joyu, Joyu, mumbling and drinking. It was a little depressing, to be perfectly honest. Le Canard Joyu, that's the dingy student bar in Rue Jean, right? The student bar. 
It's not dingy, just a little rustic. A little rustic. In any case, that's enormous help. Thanks, mademoiselle. Anytime, Sparrows, and ship it. <laughs> well, let's go to the Canard Joyeux. Oh, it's a total girl! Sparrowson says to the doors of the Carnard Joe, you're the dingiest student tavern all of Paris. It is nostrils filled with the pugent, pungent aroma of sour wine and bitter tobacco. <laughs> well, rumble my feathers if it isn't little Sparrowson. I haven't seen you in years. How you doing, hon? I'm feeling pretty good, Madame Connell. Uh, thanks for asking. I'm actually here to find a friend. He's a big guy named JJ Falcon. Falcon? That sorry lump's been here all weekend. He's just been moaning, muttering himself all weekend. Frankly, he's bringing the whole atmosphere down. I'll take care of him. Thanks, Madame Quinelle. It's no problem, honey. He's probably still in the corner of the room upstairs, drinking. Oh. We are currently in the entrance, but where do you want to go? Drinking room. In the corner room. Which corner do we say? Hmm. Hmm. No sign of him. Ah! Mon dieu! I almost stepped on the big fellow. Uh, Falcon? What are you doing on the floor? Hey, Falcon, wake up! Wow, the bird's completely out cold. You must have drunk this place dry. Let's see how you... How do you wake a drunk person? <laughs> Pour a drink over his head? Well, I guess it's time for a rude awakening. Wakey, wakey! Leave the bottle. <laughs> oh, he's wet again. Mm. Ah, good, you're up. Ugh. Are are you with us, Falcon? Yeah. Feeling sober? We should probably head back to the aviary office so we can get some work done. I don't understand it, Sparrowson. Huh? I thought I did everything right. I followed all the procedures, I found all the evidence, I presented the b case beautifully, and yet a guilty feline walks free while an innocent man sits in custody. What went wrong? Where's the justice? We need to try hard, or dot dot dot, or we need to try harder. It's, it's your pick. Why is it my pick? This is, this is, he's asking Ugh. Sparrows in a question. I like we need to try harder. Maybe we need to try harder? Try harder. I don't know if we messed up or if the system is messed up or what, but we just have to do our best as lawyers, I suppose. Maybe if we work hard enough, we can stop mess ups from happening again. Sorry, Falcon. I don't have the answers. What I do have is freshly baked croissant from Pierre's Boulangerie. Croissants? Yep. They're waiting for you back at the aviary. I'm sitting here moping about justice and you offer me croissants. Well, it's not just croissant. I have some pain au chocolat, too. Oh, those are delicious. I could go for pains au chocolat. Fantastic, let's make a move. Have you ever had one before? I don't know what it is. So, pain au chocolat. Yeah? From my understanding, they sell them at um, Au Bon Pain as well. So, it's like, it looks like a... It's a pastry that's filled with chocolate on the inside, but it's a flaky pastry like the same consistency as a croissant. Absolutely delicious. I, I think full I've of had that calories. Before. Full of calories. But gosh darn it, if that isn't delicious. I think I've had that before. Del uh, and with a cup of coffee. Oh, maybe we should take a break and go to AVP. Now you were just like hungry today. I am hungry. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I admit it. These croissants are amazing. Told you. Pierre's Boulangerie and Rue Verde is something else. Oh, that reminds me. The baker told me something interesting. Do you know what they call pain au chocolat in America? They don't call them pain au chocolat. No pronunciation difficulties. It's absolutely true. Yeah. America is a whole nother language. So what do they call them? Chocolate croissants. Who was uh, right? It's just like a croissant. Oh. oh. Hey, um, there uh, you go, little uh, I'll guy. Be, I'll be the little dude. Um, ah. Uh, hello. <laughs> Chocolate croissants. <laughs> what do they call? Profiteroles. Profiteroles. <laughs> I think those are still called profiteroles. Are but they? I, I don't... Yeah, they're absolutely delicious. What the hell is that? Profiter... Oh. You need to take me to a bakery, apparently. I, I, I need to expose you to the world of baked goodness. Profiteroles... Uh, well, let's continue oh, on. Oh, they're talk, so you can talk, good. You can talk oh. to them about later. Please but rather than custard, they fill them with ice cream and smother them in melted chocolate. Hmm. 
Simply outstanding. I is this the aviary attorney? Can I speak to someone, please? Oh, what do they call crepes? Excuse me! Did you hear something, Sparrowson? Down here. Just hit him. Oh, sorry, I didn't see you there. What can I do for you, little one? Oh, my gosh. Oh, oh, uh, gosh. Where to start? Your name, perhaps? Mousy. My name is Mousy. Uh, what... And what can we do for you, Monsieur Massy? I have his friend. Wow, you it's really want to... I want to be Mousy. You're just so excited. I'm so excited to see Fine, fine, you can be Mousy. I have this friend. He has fallen under some legal turbulence. Legal turbulence? You mean he's been arrested? Uh, yes, I suppose. You're saying he's a murderer, but he didn't do it. He didn't do it. That's quite a problem. I know, but I forgot to mention he's the Prince of Spain... Prince of Spain? And you didn't think that was worth mentioning from the start? I forgot, I forgot. I must ask, Mousy, why did you come to us? I would have thought that the Spanish royal family would hire legal counsel with a little more... Not terribleness? Expertise. Well, the prince has great faith in your lawyering skills, Monsieur Falco. He said that your reputation as a lawyer was renowned. Really? The prince said that? This is a great opportunity, Falcon. Surely you wouldn't deny a request from the Prince of Spain. <laughs> I kind of want to go, meh. Of course I'll take the case. Of course we'll take the case. Grab your coat, Sparrowson. We have royalty to defend. That's the spirit. Good luck to you, messieurs. You are coming with us, Mousy. I am have other matters to attend. Prince Juan is being held in the concierge room. I'm sure he will fill in all the details. Right, let's make a move then. So do you think he's actually going to be innocent, but we're going to think he's guilty because uh, of the last case? I, I think that was intentionally set up by the... Uh, pigeon lawyer creators, thanks a lot. Good day, monsieur. Oh, it's you two again. Hey, nice work on Lady Kitten's trial. Baron Roar Grill is pacing around a cell right now, ranting about wringing your neck. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Super mad, but hey, a criminal's a criminal, right? If the lion don't want a death sentence, he probably should have killed the guy. Oh, you're not here to defend him, are you? Because that would be hilarious. Foreshadowing! Yeah, right? <laughs> actually, we're here... We're actually here to see Prince Juan Querido, heir to the throne of Spain. The mouthy fox, huh? That guy's driving me nuts with his senores and his flamboyant attitude. I say the sooner he hangs, the better. He's such a jerk. He's a grumpy Gus. Well, come on then. While we're young. Oh, look at him. I want to be the prince. You want to be the prince? Yeah, I want to be the prince. The prince of Spain, I presume? <laughs> Close. I love it. Indeed, I am Juan Cuerdo, heir to the throne of España. And you must be the legendary lawyer, Senor Gégé Falcon. Well, I wouldn't say legendary. I would even say notable. Such humility, I would expect nothing less from renowned individuals such as yourselves. But let us get down to business. I trust that my compañero, Mousy, explained the situation. Compañero Mousy. He told us that you have been accused of murder, but we need some further details before we can start our investigations. Before we go on, does the Prince Juan of Spain not look like Puss in Boots from Shrek. With his demeanor and his outfit, except he's a fox and Puss in Boots was a cat. I disagree. <laughs> Are you kidding me? He's wearing a shirt. Did Puss in Boots wear a shirt? No. Huh. He wore shoes and so, a hat. So he's a mix between Puss in Boots and then Keanu Reeves <laughs> oh from uh, Much Ado About Nothing. Anyways. Uh, of course, <laughs> what is it that you wanted to know? Maybe why are you in Paris and then tell us about Yeah, we'll do that first. Why did you come to Paris, Prince Juan? I was on a diplomatic mission. I do not know whether you are familiar with current events, but you may have heard that my country is in a state of turmoil. Contenders for the Spanish throne are slandering, plotting, backstabbing. It's chaos, and the people are suffering. So I thought, if I can befriend some French royalty, perhaps even the king himself, maybe I can strengthen my family's name. Um, considering the time period, it probably might not be a good idea because he's just going to be ousted with a new Napoleon in, in there soon. Hmm. With the 
Where the fam dynasty restored, I would have a chance of bringing peace to my beautiful nation. Oh, I guess that's gone out the window. Sparrowson, don't be rude. No, he is right. I failed terribly. Don't fret, Prince Juan. We'll do everything in our power to clear your name. Maybe once the dust has settled, you will have another opportunity to speak with King Louis Philippe and complete your mission. Thank you, Senor Falcon. I am sure you'll do your best. Was there anything else you wanted to ask? Tell us about the murder. To be honest, Prince Juan, I'm a little confused on as to how a murder of royalty, a member of royalty, could get in so much trouble. Could you walk us through your activities on the day of the murder? Of course, let me see where to begin. It was the cold and misty morning of the 6th of January. Mine birthday. That was like four days ago in their time. Yeah, right. I had heard that King Philip, Louis Philippe was unveiling a new painting at the Palais de Louvre, and I wished to meet the man himself. So after a brief stroll and picnic in Tuileries' garden, I entered the palace. I found the royal entourage in the Vers Guard Gallery when I saw an opportunity. I presented a humble gift to the king. <gasps> uh, wrote, is the king the dead? The king is dead? I was wondering why they did not tell us who died yet. Or show us. We just took the case about the Spanish guy who killed the king of France in Paris. We're screwed. This ought to be interesting. Oh, well then A why rose, we, an international symbol of passion and what? virtue. Why did he not say anything when we said, well, when we take your case, hopefully, after this is all over, you can talk to King Philippe again? Yeah. He didn't I don't say know. anything. I don't know then. Ah, how romantic. But before the king could take it, a rather rude person okay, snatched it go. from a finger. Good, good. It was a royal guard, a dog by the name of Major Howell. Ouch, he cried, Major Howell. I have pricked myself upon the thorns of this dastardly drama. And then the major slumped to the floor, his face turned blue. His mouth frothed and he died. He died straight away after being pricked. Straight away, senor. It's always that the pricked finger was the cause of death, but I don't know of any poison that acts so fast. Nor do I, senor Falcon. But clearly the, po the police felt that poison upon the rose's thorn was the only logical explanation. And with so many witnesses, even the king himself, what could I say to defend myself? So where did this rose come from? I acquired it from a beautiful Parisian flower seller at Les Halles Market. A girl by the name of Catherine Marie... Marie... Signier. Signier. But surely you're not suggesting that the flower girl applied the poison herself, Senor Falcon. Well, I'm not making any accusations yet. I'm just planning to explore every line of inquiry. Poison rose. Major Hal took a rose from Prince Juan. The thorns of the rose were supposedly coated in poison. Somebody was looking to kill the, uh, the king. The uh, king. king, or someone was looking to kill the prince. The prince. Yeah. Did you want to ask something else in your fucking what book? Were you reading? What were you reading before? We so rudely interrupted. I just hope it's the Count of Monte Cristo. Ah, uh, this book it is a Spanish classic. <gasps> Don Quixote of La Mancha. Do you know it? Yeah, I've read it. I've read it. It's a strange story. I don't know whether it's I'm supposed to be laughing or crying. The hero's misadventures. Indeed, it's easy to read the book as a comedy, but when I look around, I can't help but see all the people who think themselves as knights. I have no idea what you two are prating on about. Not a book lover, Senor Sparrowson? I dabble. It's just most of my reading. Material tends to be on the lighter side. Nice and pulpy. I see. Well... How about this, Senor Sparrowson? I will lend you this book. Maybe you'll have a chance to read it, and then you'll be able to join in our conversation. Thank you. Keep it in my bathroom. For toilet reading material, of course. Galignicio. El Hidalgo Don Quixote de la Mancha. Ingenicio. The genius. Page 44 seems to be missing. Well, what's on page 44? We go to the library. Well, I mean, it's gonna depend. We don't even know what like edition this is, so no, we don't know. No, but based upon the uh, the clues from the other pages, we can pinpoint potentially. No, I meant I thought in real life. Can we go and? No, I uh, meant in the show. Maybe we will go to the okay. library. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe we should take a break here. 
<laughs> we will run over to the library and come back and report. You, you can run to the library. I'll, I'll stay here and play more Avery Attorney. Or maybe we should just look it up on our phone later. <laughs> maybe. Was there anything else you wanted to know? No, I think that's everything. Thank you. What's the big... What's the plan, Big Bird? What's the big plan, Bird? That's what you're about to say. Yep. <laughs> well, we have two lines of inquiry. We should head to the scene of the crime, the Palais de Louvre, and see if we can find any clues or witnesses. And we should interview the flower girl in the house, Marka, to see if she has anything to say about this alleged poison rose. Two tasks spread over for six days. That sounds almost too easy. Let's not get complacent. Good luck, seniors. Wait a minute, Falcon. What is it? Did something seem off about Prince Juan to you? I want to know what he meant by off. That he's yeah. a fox? Maybe say he's quite a character. That seems in between. Yeah. He seemed colorful to me. Throwing roses, sprouting about literature. Juan's one suave Spaniard. Hmm. Maybe I misread him. Well, look, if this is bothering you, we could always ask or, uh, around. Maybe someone in the city knows Juan's dirty secret. If he actually has anything to hide, that is. Yeah, let's dig up the dirt. But we'll still got a trial to prepare for. Probably Sp uh, Sparrowson. Okay. okay. Places we could go. Hey. La Halle? Palais de Louvre? What's this? The, can the Canard Joyeux? That's where we found him drunk. Oh, I'm wondering if one of the reasons why we can go there... Um, because if remember we could go into different places there. Wonder if there's some some ruffians. Yeah. I kind of want to go talk to the flower girl first though. Flower girl first, and she was I at mean, La Hales. Yeah. What do you What do you think, Fawn? Yeah, let's totally. Let's okay. go for it. Parrot arrived at La Hale Market. Vendors and buskers, performers, thieves, bourgeois peasants, all bustle from place to place. Prince Juan said that he met a flower girl here. Signe. Signe. I think he said her name was. There's a swan of flowers over there. Do you think that's her? I think so. It's possible that she knows the murderer, or even that she is the murderer herself, so we should probably act with tact and finesse. Excuse me, flower lady. We like a word. Tact, sparrows and tact. We've been over this. I knew he was going to do it. Good day, messieurs. Are you interested in purchasing a flower? She's actually quite pretty. Yes, I wish to purchase a rose from a lady. I'm afraid that I'm out of roses. I sold my last one a week ago. Oh. Would you be satisfied with a chrysanthemum instead? Tis a beautiful flower from a fair maiden. Please don't mind, Sparrowson. He fell out of his nest as a baby and has said dumb things ever since. Mm. Hey. Let me introduce myself. I am J.J. Falcone, defense attorney. Are you... Mademoiselle Signe? That's right, Catherine Marie Signe. I suppose you're here to ask about the royal assassination attempt. How did you know? I'm a fool, monsieur. I know that a rose I sold was used as the murder weapon. To be honest, I'm surprised it's taking so long for someone to directly question me. The Parisian police seems to have a habit of missing obvious leads. So do you mind if we ask a couple of questions? This is in slow. Please ask away. Yeah, where do you get your flowers from? That's a good start. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Where do you acquire your flowers from, may I ask? Normally I gather them from the wild. Last week I found these chrysanthemums on the city limits. And that's the same place I discovered this monk's hood. But it's still winter. I have to buy a lot of flowers from, um, from a merchant who travel to Italy and the Netherlands. I have a theory. Mm -hmm. Whole thing was an accident. I think that a poisonous flower rubbed up against the prickles of the rose, mm -hmm. and when it just so happened that the guy grabbed it. Or he's guilty. Or he's guilty. One or the other. Okay. Your turn. I, s I finished that. Oh, 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 I finished that. That's how I acquired the rose. What can you tell me about this particular merchant? Not a lot, monsieur. He's just an old man who passes through Paris a few times a year selling his goods and wares. I see. No chance of him being a super secret assassin? No, monsieur. Do you want to ask something else? Well, you're, yeah, that's it. That's it. Mademoiselle, you mentioned that you sold your last rose a week ago. Who did you sell it to? The person who bought the rose. 
I didn't catch his name, but he was a charming red fox. Sounds like our one. I met him around a week ago on the 6th. We talked for a little while about the usual things, you know, like how everyone seems to be in debt these days. Then he bought a rose and left. He's in debt? Mm-hmm. That's what it sounds like. I hear that the fox is on trial. To be honest, monsieur, I don't think he's guilty. Oh, why is that? Well, actually, never mind. It's just a gut feeling. Pressure her, yeah. Mademoiselle, it just so happens that we're defending this particular fox in Cours de Sens. If you have something to say that could prove his innocence, now would be a good time. Now be the time to let us know. I'm sorry, Monsieur, I can't. <gasps> wait, Mademoiselle, wait, yeah, wait up! Oh, damn. damn. Nice display of tact and finesse, Falk, and he scared her off. The Swan obviously knows something crucial about the case. We need to get to the bottom of whatever it is. Agreed. But I don't think she'll be in the mood to tell us anything else. I know, while we catch while we try acting with a little more tact and finesse next time. Hush. We have six days, we had to go back later. Yeah, I think so too. And the crime maybe. Um Palais de Louvre. And we actually may see her at Le Canard Joyeux at some point. Falcon and Sparrow make their way to the Palace du Carousel, the courtyard just north of the Louvre's Grand Galerie. That's the Arc de Triomphe over there, right? I swear it's smaller than how I remember it. That's the Arc de Triomphe du Carousel, you doofus. The big Arc de Triomphe is up the road. What? No way. Why are there two? Because when a man like Napoleon invades half of Europe, he gets his, to build as many triumphal arches as he damn well pleases. <laughs> Ooh. Cocorica. Well, well, well. I never expected to see you here, JJ. I'm assuming he's gonna be. Cocorico. I think he's gonna be the lawyer that we're gonna be up Probably. against. And he's the cock of the walk. Yeah, Idney. Idney. Let me tell you, in the Balkans, the uh, Cocorico, I think, is um, is a uh, is, is a rooster. I, I, he totally looks like a yeah. rooster to me. He got the little thingies and everything. All right, let's go. That, that <laughs> arrogant voice. <gasps> oh, good day, Severin. Let's be civil, JJ. Why don't you introduce me to your new assistant? Fine, fine, Severin. This is Sparrowson, my assistant. Sparrowson, this is Severin Cocorico, the most pompous prosecutor right, in prosecutor. Perry. Hmm? Right, prosecutor. Oh, are you two old school friends or something? More like arch rivals. Mm, please, JJ. I think arch rival implies some sort of competition. As I recall, we've met in court on five occasions, and on five occasions, did you get humiliated terribly? Hmm. I'm amazed a failing bird brain like you is still able to get clients. Actually, Severin, business has not been better. I'll have you know that I am currently being employed by the Prince of Spain, no less. The Prince of Spain, Juan Quiero? Well, well, this is quite an amusing coincidence. Don't tell me. Correct, I am the prosecutor for the very same case. <laughs> it is a pity that the Spanish prince will indubitably hang, but I suppose that is what he gets for hiring a bird brain to represent, represent him. Don't call me bird brain, you're the only bird brain here, Severin! <laughs> <laughs> one always speaks badly when one has nothing to say, Voltaire. Uh oh, he's giving you the verbal smackdown. Quick, Falcon, make a witty retort. Huh? Oh, yeah. Uh. I'm rubber in your glue. I don't agree with what you said. What do you say impose nothing? The last one. What do you say impose nothing? Full tap. Oh! Ooh, mic drop. <laughs> Very good, JJ. Worthy we repose. But enough talk. If you, messieurs, would excuse me, I have a case to prepare for. JJ, Sparrowson, I'll see you two in court. Mia. Yeah. Mm. Ugh, I can't stand that guy. He did seem like a big bit of a cockroach. But is it true what he said, you know, that he trounced you in court five times? I can't deny it. Severin has a reputation as a ruthlessly thorough prosecutor. Oh! Sever okay, Severin, is this... No, 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 no. The, this is totally Ace Attorney. And the other guy, I forget his name, but he always had a, an arch rival. And I forget his name. If you remember Ace Attorney's rival's name, please post it in the comments. It is bugging the crap out of me. Well, you know what's bugging me here, Fawen? Huh? Is Severin Kokoriku, named after Severin Snape, from the infamous Harry Potter series. Oh. 
We'll, we'll find out. For all I know, it's a very common uh, Parisian name for the time. Like JJ. JJ. <laughs> JJ. Oh, let's keep going. Um, mountains of evidence, surprise witnesses. It's no wonder he always manages to one up me. But this time will be different, right? I hope so. I know so, for you see. I stole his annotated map of Blue Bar out of Kokoro's pocket. Kokuriko's pocket when he was busy railing off old air quotes. Sparrowson, that's. that's. <laughs> pretty impressive, actually. I swear you were standing three meters away the whole time. You tall birds are so busy with your heads in the glass that you don't even notice the small folk walking around you, like Mousy. Pinching Kokuriko's pocket is like taking candy from a very tall baby. Let's take a closer look, hmm? I see. This map shows the entire Louvre area. Everything from Tuileries to the Rue du Louvre, to Louvre, Rue du Louvre, <laughs> most convenient. So we got Louvre, got an X here. That's where it happened. Louvre. And then two other lines, an X here. So it's showing so its movements. Yeah. Okay. The Jardin. We're currently standing here in the Place du Carousel. Okay. <laughs> And those pendant arrows seem to show the route taken by the king's entourage, which means that the king first went here through the cell de Tim, Tiber, Tiber, and then here into the Grande Galerie where the murder occurred. Did Prince Wanse spent the morning in the Tuileries Garden? That's right. So that means Prince Juan approached the Louvre, the Louvre from the west side, somewhere over. Yeah. Yeah. Sounds like we have a lot of places to visit. Where should we go first? See in the crime, then the garden? Or we what? will go to Sally de du Tibre next time. Ne oh, the, that time, the time has flown by so quickly. Oh, it totally has. Um, so join us next time for some more Avery Attorney with Fallen and Friends featuring Micro. As we get to the bottom of this murder case to try to see if the Prince of Spain is guilty or not. Everyone bring your Snuggies. I'll have mine. <laughs> we'll be ready. All right. Take care, guys. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Share to the internet to spread the channel. And follow me on Instagram and Twitter. See everybody soon. Take care, guys.